Overwatering your lawn could soon be costing you hundreds of dollars as state regulators fight to approve mandatory water restrictions as early as next week. 23 ABC's Leslie Marine looked into what local agencies are trying to do to prevent people from being hit with these fines. Water, it's the only thing anyone is talking about lately. Both Bakersfield facing mandatory water restrictions from the state. Every drop counts. We hear a lot of times in the community, we want to help. Everyone really wants to help, but how can they help? And is what they're doing really helping? Recently, a state survey showed that current conservation efforts have only resulted in a 5% decrease in water usage. Majority of the water usage for residential customers is outside their home. With state regulators hoping to impose a $500 fine for outdoor water wasters. Irrigation companies are taking the time to educate residents now. After I've asked all these questions, we've done the homework, we've looked at the soil samples, mm -hmm. have a little bit better picture on what's going on. Now we can make some suggestions on what to actually do. Soil doctors from Gardener Supply along with PG&E and other county water agencies will spend time educating residents on things that can help them save money and water is going to save a lot of water and it's going to save customers on their energy bill. And those energy efficient irrigation systems can use 50% less water, which, which is a big impact. The Greater Bakersfield Conservation Day begins at 9 a.m. tomorrow until noon at the Earners at 4110 Weibel Road.